Hey, good morning everybody. Uh, today, had a quick run to Walmart because I had to get a new printer. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the house. I'm gonna explain the printer saga I've been having over the last few weeks, few months. It's ridiculous, but now I have a new printer to solve the issue. Uh, so let's get back. I'm gonna show you a little bit more about my printer saga. Okay, so I have this printer, which I've had for a while. Um, but it doesn't really, uh, so for some reason, like the um, uh, the uh, heads on the uh, printer thing thing doesn't, they're, I don't know, it's just not working as much. Then I have this one, but the problem with this one is I can't find any ink. I used it, it was working fine, everything's great. Then I go to try to buy ink for it and nobody has it. Or they say, hey, this printer also takes this kind, this kind, or this kind, and then you buy it and you put it in there and it doesn't work because it says, ink not compatible or whatever so that's why I had to go to the store today and get a new printer. I think there's some sort of printer ink conspiracy to kind of almost force you to buy a new printer. Now I paid $50 for a printer but the ink's $30 so you have to sit there and go really printers are only in the realm of things like 20 bucks? That's hard to believe. So you know they, I think there's this big conspiracy. It's kind of like uh, why the amount of hot dogs don't match up to the amount of buns. Uh, you always have this odd number of uh, uh, buns or hot dogs. Look into this, folks. There is a conspiracy on printers. Bailey has a new bed, and she is just loving it. It actually looks like a little couch. So even though Tanya won't let her on the couch, now Bailey has her own couch. The daily walk is going to have a little bit of an issue when it starts getting dark so early. Ugh. Just like, I'm trying to get these exercise, this exercise in, and the daylight, where's it going? Daylight, come back! So, uh, I'm going to do about three and a half miles on this walk, which is pretty good, because we're about to go break the fast with our Jewish friends who just got done celebrating Yom Kippur. And you're gonna find out a little bit more about Yom Kippur from Eric uh, later in this vlog because I feel like us Christians and even non-denominational folks or those that don't uh, uh, prescribe to religion, you might find it very interesting. So we're off to Eric and Mara's house to break the fast. So here we go. For most of us, this is just good to be food. Some of us. <laughs> That's not it's actually a high <laughs> um, And we're finishing the Day of Atonement today. So, actually, last week was Rosh Hashanah, which is the Jewish New Year. And then there are 10 days in between the Jewish New Year and the Day of Atonement. And in those 10 days, for Jewish people, we kind of evaluate our lives and our successes and our lack of success. And if there's a uh, a moment that wasn't our best and we owe someone an apology, it's a good time to make it. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, sorry. Good enough, I forgive you. Okay. The spirit of. <laughs> and, and that's what we do in those 10 days between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur is we really evaluate our lives, set new goals, kind of like the New Year's thing, but we have to do it for 10 days. And, uh, <laughs> other groups get to do it every Sunday. We just have it once a year, but for Jews, it's not enough to just go, oh God, I'm sorry. Have to be more. If you <laughs> like wronged a person, you have to directly say, hey, I am really, I did this, I'm sorry. You know, and, and hopefully someone will say, no problem. <laughs> so, and that's what we do in those 10 days. Then we fast on Yom Kippur. We started it last night because Jewish holidays start at sundown and we're not supposed to eat all day, and then we break the fast after that. So this is the proverbial break the fast. <laughs> there we go. We'll just do what? Yom Tov? Sure. Baruch HaTad Anai Elohim HaMelech Olam Asher Kedoshanu B'Mitzvot Tav V'Tzivanu Lahad Lik Ner Shel Yom Tov. The next thing we're going to do is bless the bread, parts, which is the motzi, we call it the motzi. Baruch HaTadzai, Elohim HaKalam, HaMotzi Lechemin HaAret. And then you break a piece of bread and eat it and then pass it around. Certainly there's more. Um, All right. 
right, we have gefilte fish. Blintzes? Uh, yeah. Uh, a little chicken salad, it looks like. Or and tuna this is salad. Kugel, the big Jewish cool. noodle dish. Yeah, the Kugel, the Jewish noodle amazing. dish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of course, we have the lox. And in here, uh, the bagels. So, and some stuff to put on there as well. So, yeah, nice and nice And then, of course, you got matzo ball soup. And in here is the matzo ball soup. Matzo ball. Mm hmm. I would like to point out that I'm not Jewish, but yet I knew the Jewish food that was on the table without much help. But Barb did throw in a couple of cents there, so I'm not thanks, Jewish. Barb. All right, we got uh, some sort of cheesecake right here for dessert, and I think that's like an apple screw something there. And we got a pot and some things here, and the cookies. Looks yummy. At six I'm not gonna eat any cookies though. What? Why? No cookies. Oh, I, this. Yeah. This is delicious. I might have I might have I might have, little, I might have a little of that. Or I might have a little of that. I don't know, but no cookies. Oh, these are my Alright, going for the apple cake. Eric's slicing it up for me. Now how how Jewish is apples? Apples are very Jewish. Very Jewish, I think so, right? They're, they're the guiltiest of all fruit. <laughs> We've eaten so much food, all we can do is lay on the couch. There's the couch, is, it's time for the couch. I mean, that's it's it. Couch down. It's couch I mean, I am completely stuffed. I, thank you for all the food. It was incredible. Um, thank you for getting your energy on. Yeah, it was. Oof. But I'm, I'm like going to pass out from all the food. Yeah, food coma. Food coma. I think somebody's loving their new bed. Yeah. We're back home. What a night. I'm going to tell you right now, I think we need more Jewish restaurants. Yes, I'm calling it now. We have lots of Greek places. We have lots of Italian places. We don't have a lot of Jewish restaurants. So let's get on that, America. More Jewish restaurants because that food is really good. Uh, I need your help. Me and Tanya need your help. So in the comments below... We need Halloween costume ideas. So give us some ideas for what you think we can do for a Halloween costume. Not just for a party that we have coming up this weekend, but maybe also at Disney as well, since we'll be there for a Halloween night. Uh, lastly, don't forget to look on my Facebook page for the subscriber giveaway uh, for this month of October. A chance to win a $50 Porterhouse gift card or a 7-inch Amazon Fire tablet so thank you guys so much for watching and it's now time for me to say spaz out